blackfacts.com presents Caribbean Revolutionaries Mary Eugenia Charles Dame Mary Eugenia Charles was Prime Minister of Dominica from July 21, 1980 until 14 June 1995. She was Dominica's first, and to date only, female Prime Minister, as well as nation's longest-serving Prime Minister. Eugenia Charles was born in Point Michel, a small fishing community not far from the Dominican capital of Rizzo, in 1919. She was educated in Granada, then went on to study law in Toronto. She continued her education at the London School of Economics and became a member of the Inner Temple in 1943. After her call to the bar in November 1947, she returned to Dominica and established her own practice, specializing in property law. On her return to home country, Charles also became politically active, writing anonymous newspaper articles against the government of the day. Her political activity became more overt around 1968 when she got involved with protesting against the Sedition Act, with which the Dominican government was attempting to stifle its political critics. The protests were successful, and Shut Your Mouth Bill, as Charles referred to it, was withdrawn. The following year, she co-founded the Dominica Freedom Party, DFP, and was elected its president. The party came second in the general elections of 1970. The Dominica Freedom Party was strongly in favor of Dominica's independence from Britain, and the goal was achieved in 1978. The success of the independence campaign was in turn a contributing factor in the DFP's victory in the general election of 1980, which put Eugenia Charles into the prime minister's office. Charles's first years as Prime Minister were challenging in the extreme, Hurricane David had devastated the island's economy and infrastructure the year before her election, and the year after it she faced two attempted coups. The first coup codenamed Operation Red Dog by the conspirators, was led by American and Canadian white supremacists and aimed to return Patrick John to power. The second was led by Frederick Newton, the chief of Dominica's military forces, both coups failed. Charles became more widely known to the outside world for her role in the lead-up to the United States invasion of Grenada. In the wake of the arrest and execution of Grenadian Prime Minister Maurice Bishop, Charles, then serving as chair of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States. Her energy and uncompromising attitude gained her the sobriquet of Iron Lady of the Caribbean. However, she ended up running the country for 15 years, 1980 to 1995. During her retirement, Dame Charles continued to work around the world promoting human rights and democracy, becoming also a co-founder of the Council of Women Leaders. On August 30, 2005, Charles entered a hospital in Fort de France, Martinique, for hip replacement surgery. She died from a pulmonary embolism on September 6, at 86 years of age. Learn more at blackfacts.com.